Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mademoiselle Lena, and you can find me online at www.conjurenits.com. Today, we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Pocket of Peers Peer Pack that I got from a Kickstarter by Jamie Sawyer. I am so excited about this deck. I just brought it in. The mailman just dropped it off. I mean, it wasn't even on my porch for 30 seconds, and I'm like snatching it up. That's how excited I am about this deck and about this reward. I bought the um, Peer Pack reward, which comes with a conference case that was made by Jenna over at Moonlit Fay. I do need to drop her link down in the description box below as well. Um, the Kickstarter is no longer going on, of course. As you can tell, we got um, I got my package, and we're going to be opening it up here. But you can order the deck while supplies last. Jamie only ordered so many decks, and that's when they're gone, they're gone. Um, and I believe that Jenna is going to be making some more of the conference uh, packs, but I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that, but I do believe she is. Um, her website is www.moonlitfay.com, and Jamie's website is www.jamiesawyer336.com. So let's see. Get in here. Oh, that's okay. She packed everything inside the case. All right. <clears throat> Jamie's the one that also made this uh, board for me that I do my monthly telescopes on. So here is the pack, the conference case. See, here's Moonlit Bay. Beautiful. It's got that um, paper bag look um, that the book has as well. Because like Jamie was saying, remember how, well, back in the day, we used to cover our books at school with brown paper bags. That way we can like draw all over them and put stickers on them. And Lena loves so-and-so and, you know, all that kind of crap we used to do back in school. But yeah, that's the whole theory behind the brown paper bag. So let's go ahead and open it up here. This is super. I've got all my stuff out here because I'm right in the middle of doing the August telescopes. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell because you're going to want to make sure you get the notifications so you can watch those telescopes. All right. Here's inside the bag. We have the study material from the cards. I know my camera's really close, but we've got a pocket here. Another pocket over here. Turn it around. We've got a pocket here, a pocket here, and a place for a pen here. Okay. It's really nice. It's thick, it's like it's quilted, so it's really soft and it'll protect your cards when you're on the go. <coughs> Pardon me. That's what I get for talking too much without drinking anything. All right, I'm gonna move this for just a moment so that we can dig into our goodies here. Oh, all the rewards. Okay. This is a card stand that Jamie made. Okay. The mountains and the sun. You just put the card in here. Like, I just so happen to have my fairy oracle. You would set it up here like this. 
or actually you would actually let them see the card. So it can sit on your altar or on your desk. Say if you pull a card of the day, then you could put that up there. Um, it might also be good for uh, videos as well. Like when I'm doing the readings, I can pop the cards up and, you know, as I'm doing them, that would be awesome. But, yeah, I love that. Now on the back, it's just plain. And we have a bookmark with the study. I want all four signs. All four suits. Okay. Oh, wow. And then some stickers. I forgot about the stickers. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. My allergies are so bad. <coughs> oh, I tried to fight it. I really did. I tried to fight it. Okay. So we have the stickers here. Some books. Pocket appears. Some more little stickers. Three of Swords. I love them. And Jamie's, this is like her, her logo sticker now. All right. Let's get social. Okay, this is a postcard with Jamie's information. If you guys want to take a screenshot of this so that you can go get your own deck or you can follow her on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. She does amazing work. She really does. Here you can scan the QR code. If you want to take a screenshot. Actually, I'm supposed to scan the QR code to get the guidebook and digital stickers. But so don't scan that. All right. So awesome. So here you guys. Here you go, guys. If you want to get in touch with Jamie, she's amazing. Here is the book. And it also has the paper bag cover. And this is the class of 2021. Look back here. A guidebook that is meant to be an introduction to the peers in the deck, as well as prompting you to go deeper with your own explorations, merging the magical world of tarot with modern day scenarios. Okay. And then inside the book, Okay, it's laid out like a yearbook. We have the teacher's cards with Mary Kay Breer and Rachel Pollock. The Major Arcana. The Wands, the Cups. The Swords, the Pentacles. You've got deep dives. You've got pages where you can write your own notes. Each uh, card has a the description. Tell us about the card. And then you can write your own thoughts over here on these pages. Okay, so this is for every card. Is this way. This is amazing. This is great. I'm definitely going to have to download the digital version because I really like um, writing on my iPad because I don't want to mess up the book. That's just me, though. All right, so let's get into the cards. I'm going to get stuck on the book here. So let's go ahead and get into the cards, and let me show those to you as well. My trusty little... Right here. And the 
this does come in a really nice clamshell box. Oh, it's got the study here. That's so beautiful. Let's pull out our cards. That's inside the box. And we have this beautiful yellow edging. I love yellow. I'm a Leo. I love sunflowers and yellow and all that kind of great stuff. Here's the back of the cards. So let me take this off. Here's the back. And then I will just show them to you one by one. And I'm just going to um, call out the what suit it is and what number it is. Because to be honest, I know a lot of the people that appears in this deck, but I don't know everybody. So I don't want anybody to feel left out. So I'm just going to, you know, call it by the fool. Okay, so we have the fool. And Jamie said she wanted you to always feel like you were part of the painting. So this is why she put it like this way. It's like your hands reaching out for the cards. So the fool, the magician. Now I know this is her mother. I said I wasn't going to do that. I might. Okay, I might slip up. Nobody get offended if I don't call your name. I'm, I'm not trying to be ugly. And the high priestess. The empress. The Emperor. Actually, you know what? I am going to go ahead and do it. Sorry. I can't make up my mind. It's my prerogative. All right. So we have the Fool. Let's put it here. Next, we have the Magician. This is Janie's mother, Gail. Next, we have the High Priestess, Melissa Sinova. The Empress. This is Christine Gorman. Next, we have the Emperor. This is Mantis. Then we have the Hierophant, and this is V from Red Light Readings. Next, we have the Lovers. This is Charlie, Claire, and Aaron. Then we have the Chariot, Pamela Chen. Strength, Melda Hughes. The Hermit, Whitney Bowen Abrams. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune. Next we have Justice with Benabel Wynn. We have the hanged one, Aaron Lento. Next, we have Death, Mr. Lionheart. Temperance, Jennifer Lucero Earl. Next, we have the Devil. This is Tim. This, yeah. This is Jamie's partner, her husband. Okay, next we have the tower with Lisa Robin Robertson. The star with Chris Ann Donnelly. The moon with Terry Iacuzzo.
the sun with Samaj Thomas. Awakening with Logan Townsend. Next we have the world. With the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands. This is Trina. The Three of Wands with my really good friend Andrew. Andrew Barker. The Four of Wands with Sibian and Robert. The Five of Wands with Jay. The Six of Wands with Michelle Welch. <clears throat> the Seven of Wands with Lucy Morningstar. The Eight of Wands with Kristen. The Nine of Wands with Ellen Perkins. The Ten of Wands with Tia Meredith. The Page of Wands with Jamie Elford. <clears throat> the Knight of Wands with Taryn Elliott. The Queen of Wands with Jenna Matlin. Oh, she's got the little kitty. The King of Wands with Walter Frerson. Frerson. The Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups with the Tarot Lady, Teresa Reed. The Three of Cups with Julia Waters. The Four of Cups with Tony Kinnett. The Five of Cups with Shaheen Miro. The Six of Cups with Rana George. I love Rana. The Seven of Cups with Michael Richard. Richmond, sorry. I know somebody named Michael Richmond, sorry. Um, Eight of Cups, Mitchell Osborne. Nine of Cups with Maya Pearl. Ten of Cups, Richard Howdy Jr. Page of Cups, Dr. Michael Anthony. Knight of Cups, Stephanie Borden. Queen of Cups, Aaron Lynch Poe. King of Cups, Ruth W. Next we have the Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords with Holly Enchanted. The Three of Swords with Trudy Dixon. The Four of Swords with Carrie Paris. The Five of Swords with Thomas. Six of Swords with Beth Hall. Seven of Swords with Carrie Paris. No. Hold on. Sorry. This is Carrie Paris. Four of Swords was Carrie Paris. Five of Swords is Thomas. Six of Swords was Beth Hall. Seven of Swords is Esther Thea. 
Eight of Swords is Patrick Kenny. Nine of Swords is Tony Poole. Ten of Swords, Shannon Gomez. Page of Swords, Honorio. Knight of Swords, Ethany. Queen of Swords, Faith Cantrell. King of Swords, Tom Pilot. Next we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles with Samantha, the Three of Pentacles with JSF, oh, Jamie's dad, okay. The Four of Pentacles with Kyla Gibham. The Five of Pentacles with Allison Lamont. The Six of Pentacles with Mel Megan Gallagher. The Seven of Pentacles with Cedar McLeod. The Eight of Pentacles. The artist herself, Jenny Sawyer. She's amazing. I love her. I really do. Nine of Pentacles, Marie Bento. Ten of Pentacles, Jillian Wild. Page of Pentacles, Fatima. I have no idea how to say your last name, but I know you're from New Orleans and you were like in the booth right next to us at Newt's. So if you, this even looks like New Orleans in the background here. Like around the Lantern District. Knight of Pentacles, Jeremy. Queen of Pentacles, Jenna Diaz. This is the Moonlit Face. She is the one who made the conference case bags. She makes a lot of bags. Let me... Um, actually, they're over there. I will show you... Something else. Just let me go ahead and finish. Sorry. I'm going to put her over here because I don't want to forget to tell you. Next, we have the King of Pentacles, George Corey. Then we have Mary Kay Greer as a teacher and Rachel Pollock as a teacher. And the study because sometimes we just need to be in our own little place and study. All right, what I wanted to say about Jenna is Jamie also has, along with the deck, she has these wonderful tiles that she makes. And I don't have her tiles in the bags. Let me see. <laughs> right here. One of the things that Jamie is very well known for is her little wooden tiles that she makes. And so I also have, see how wonderful these are? These are little wooden tiles. That's the three of wands, my friend Andrew. And they're just wonderful. She makes these boards. I've got a couple of her boards actually look there there's jenna and jenna but she makes these um, boards like this that you can do use the cards and the tiles all together it's really amazing it's wonderful but jenna here makes these bags for the tiles and i got the ones with the secret see-through pocket so I know what tiles I have and what bag but this is also made with the brown paper bag here and then these this one which I have my Lenormand tiles in 
has the study material on it as well. So, I mean, there's a whole lot. Let me go actually grab a board that goes along with the Pocket of Peers deck and show it to you. So you know what I'm talking about here. Sorry, I wasn't prepared. Like I was saying, I just went and grabbed the box off of the porch and like come in and had to record it right away. <coughs> Sorry. Ah, here it is. Okay, so I got a double sided board here. Let me move some stuff. Go ahead and put Jenna back here. So here's the board. Let's go and get it in the frame. And what you would do is you would take like, you could have a card here. And then you could have another card here. And I'm just pulling it from the top. I haven't even shuffled the deck or anything. But then you can like, Mix up your tiles in the bag, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, and pull them out. And you can pull, pull, put all your different tiles around here in the chairs, like so, all the way around. And then you can do your reading that way. Or, flip it over. The spread's a little bit different on the other side. Here, you could put one card in the middle, and then a couple tiles here on the side, and then more tiles in the chairs if you would like. Um, maybe a round card up here because it does have this circle here so let me see actually i have her portals deck i think my other one is in my suitcase but she does have animal portals that are round cards that you can buy. It's probably in my suitcase because I just got back from the trip. But I love the animal cards. <clears throat> so you can put that up here if you would like. But I love this deck. I love the peer pack, the book, the quality, the beautiful yellow edging. Everything is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So let me go ahead and pull a card and see what we get. Just get a little bit of this stuff out of the way. And then in the end, I will show you all how to pack up your conference bag. Pull one card and then we'll read out of the book and see what it says. <coughs> Sorry. One more time and then we'll pull. And we have the King of Swords. So let's see what the King of Swords is about in her book here.
This is Thomas Pilant. Oh, okay, this is Jamie's stepfather. All right. She says, I chose my stepfather, Tom, to be this analytical king. He is calm, cool, and collected. I recall one of our conversations from long ago when I was discussing the situation with him about how someone we both know should live their life. You know those conversations, the ones where you say, if only they did this or that. Tom stopped me mid-sentence and said, How dare I try to deprive this person from the life lessons they are embarking on? It is not my place to live their life for them or even necessarily know what's best. It's not that he didn't agree with me, but he was there to remind me that it was not my decision or even my life. Making sure I see the situation from all angles. Tom is also the person that when asked for help with an issue or a simple question, he will never give you just the answer. You need to be prepared for class to be in session as he dives into his memory banks to bring forth the lesson. He wants to make sure you know the whys and hows before getting to a conclusion. My siblings and I often wouldn't want to ask for his help with schoolwork for this very reason. We used to often joke that he would start his answer with four score and seven years ago, regardless of the question. You can only imagine how we rolled over in tears of the laughter when our youngest brother actually asked a question about, um, about an American political history, and he started with that very line. We literally lost it. After the giggle subsided, we would inevitably get the the lesson. This king is thorough, logical, and a huge voice of reason, sometimes just what is needed when a situation feels out of hand. So that was really nice. That actually, you know, gives us a little insight into her childhood and her family. So this is beautiful. All right. I hope that you guys like this deck. I did put the link in the description if you would like to purchase the deck for yourself. I will also add Jenna's link to so that you, oh so that you can purchase the conference pack. I was going to show you how to do this. Oops, almost forgot. <coughs> so it has all of these wonderful pockets in here. So you could take and put the deck box. I'm going to do it without the box. Sorry. I'm like banging shit all around. So you can take and just put your deck in one pocket. You put your little card stand in a pocket. If you have a pen, I'm just going to use this as an example. I have a crochet needle. You put your pen here. You can drop your books down in here. There is room for a couple more decks over here if you'd like. We could, sorry, we could put our fairy deck in and carry it with us. And then any other deck we choose. <coughs> my throat is so dry today. There's a lot of room. And I know my camera's too close. Here, let me see if I can pull it. Give you a better angle here. There's a lot of room, a lot of pockets down in here. Even another pocket, you could add something else in there if you would like. You could probably actually fit that um, little thing of tiles in here too, in the zipper bag, the tile bag that Jenna makes. So yeah, I love it. It's wonderful, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with my new toys. I love them so much. Love you bunches, Jamie. Thank you again so much. These are so wonderful. And thank you, Jenna, if you happen to see this, these, the bag, the cards, the stickers, the bookmarks. I'm definitely going to put this use. I have a book I'm reading now. 
I just got some piece of mail stuck in. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching this. Um, I hope you really liked it. You can go over to Jamie's website, buy the deck, buy the boards, buy the tiles. Go to Jenna's website, moonlitfay.com. You can buy the bags over there, the conference case. I believe she's adding to her store as well. But the tile bags, the tiles, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Jamie is amazing. She's amazing, and I love her so much. All right, guys, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.